Once we have gotten our target network, it is useful to run Aerodome NG on that network only, instead of running it on all of the networks around us. In the last lecture, we ran Aerodome NG on all of the network around us. Now in this lecture, we are going to run Aerodome NG to target only the BSS ID of the network that we want to test against. Now, this is uh, I saved the screen capture of the of the target network. This is the our uh, uh, PWND found in the target network that we are going to test against, and it is having this BSS ID that is the back address of the uh, of the interface of the particular access point of the network that we are testing against, which is 56 EF 92 B0 3 F uh, 8 B. So. Uh, to run Aerodump NG against uh, this particular uh, B, uh, B, uh, uh, access point, we are going to run this command. So I just type sudo and then follow, follow by the name of the program, which is Aerodump NG. And then I'm going to specify the channel that this B, uh, that the target network is uh, is broadcasting on. The channel uh, of this pound network. Is running in on in channel six, so I'm going to write channel six. N channel six. Next, I'm going to specify the B MAC address that that is of the access point. That is the BSS ID. All right. So I will look through what is the uh, MAC address. It is fifty six five six uh, five six, not fifty six. Then EF EF then 92 b0 92 b0 92 b0 92 b0 3 f 8 b okay 3 f and then 8 b okay so next i'm going to specify a switch to tell uh, error of ng that i want to save this uh the packet capture to a file i'm going to space and uh, that is dash dash right i'm telling error of ng that i want to save the uh, captured packet i want to capture the packet i write them to, into a file and now i'm going to specify the name of the file uh okay okay so let me uh, specify it my my capture so let me specify as my capture my capture okay the name, the name of the file that i want to save the packet to is my capture next uh, next i'm going to specify the interface which is already in uh running in mon monitor mode lan zero mon and then i'll just hit enter now as you can see the only network that uh, shows up is the uh, pound uh, wi-fi which is the target network that we are testing against we don't have any other network listed the terminal contains all of the clients that are associated with the access point and we can see the uh the uh, the access point with the mac address of 56ef 92b03 f 8b and then uh it's the station the station are the clients that are currently connected to this particular network that is the devices that are currently connected to this device and power is the distance between us and the device and then we have rate is the maximum speed that the device is uh, running on and then we have lost is the number of packets that we have lost that we couldn't uh, capture from the target device while frames is the number of possible packets that we collected from that uh, device we have the mac address of the access point uh, then the mac address of the actual uh, client now to uh, to stop the capture we just simply type ctrl c and then uh, let me clear the terminal now to see our files i'm going to run uh, ls because uh, it actually saved more than one uh, format to see to see the all the format that it has captured i'm going to make use of uh, my capture and then followed by a uh, this uh, asterisk, which is a wild uh, wild cut character wild uh, cut character. Now it will list all the files uh, whose name begins with my capture. So I'm going to see all the uh, file format that this particular program has saved uh, the, this packet in. Uh, so we can see all the uh, the two format uh, dot dot uh, calf, dot csv dot kismet dot csv and dot kismet dot net xml so these are the various uh file formats that uh aerodump ng has captured the packet and store them in now we can uh, analyze this packet using uh, a packet snipper uh, network analyzer such as wireshark to see the information that this packet contain 
However, the issue with this uh, specific network is that it uses, it uses WPA2 uh, encryption, as we have seen earlier. So all of the packets are encrypted, and we can't decrypt them unless we have a key. So, but we are going to see how to crack uh, the key in subsequent uh, lectures. For now, we are just going to run Wireshark to get a quick look at how the packet sh uh, show off. No, they are not going to be useful because they are encrypted. All right, so to launch Wireshark uh, to view these uh, captured files, all we have to do is just come to the terminal or you can uh, go to the menu here and then search for Wireshark and then launch it here. But uh, even from the terminal, you can just uh, launch the Wireshark uh, packet analyzer. So Wireshark, uh, then sudo Wireshark, uh, sudo, uh, type sudo to, uh, so that I won't have any permission issue uh, since I'm running on a non-root account. Then Wireshark is the name of the tool. So I'll just press enter, uh, hit enter, and now the Wireshark program will launch, and then I can use uh, the Wireshark program to view the captured uh, files, uh, the captured packet that we set into a file, all right? So uh, to open this uh, packet, I'll just come here, file, and then click on open. Then I will navigate to that directory where I have the captured packet. So I have them here, all right? So I have one, my capture1.cap. Okay, so let me open it. No packet. Okay, so there's no any, no any packet has been captured in this file. So let me check if there is uh, other packet that have been captured open. Okay, so I have my capture2.cap. So let me open this. All right, good. So here we have uh, packets that have been captured. So these are the packets that we have been able to capture using the uh, AeroDump uh, ng uh, program that we run on our against the target network that we are trying to snip. So these are the packets that we have been able to snip using our wireless uh, interface card, which is in monitor mode. All right, so these are the so uh, though they are encrypted, we won't be able to see any useful data since all the packets it is using uh, the WPA2 encryption. But if it were an open network, we could have been able to see uh, we could have been able to see some useful data. But this is encrypted. Uh, the packet are actually encrypted using the WPA2. All right, so but here we can see something. This is a broadcast uh, packet. Okay, which is actually a beacon frame which the access point is sending to broadcast to client around that uh, it is an access point and it is there so in case any uh, of the client want to connect to it so this is a vcom frame and then we can see source in phoenix and so let's see this packet all right so we have this uh frame we have okay so we'll be able to see some uh, uh some data that will make us that can uh, we'll be able to uh, get one or two information, assemble one or two information from this packet. So we can see the uh, receiver address, which is the MAC address of the access point of the pound uh, network access point. This is the MAC address, and then the transmitter address. So this particular de uh, device, Infinix Mobile, which is probably an Infinix uh, mobile handset. So it is uh, actually the, the it is the source mark and it is uh, transmitting to this particular uh, uh, station which is the access point that we targeted to snip packets from 